Hi everyone, the Diablo 4 Campfire Chat is now officially over and in this video, I am going to cover the following. I'm going to do a brief, very brief overview of everything that was discussed. I will not be going into detail and the items that I'm going to cover that take that they talked about is the itemization and game balance. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my take and final thoughts and impressions of what was discussed during the Diablo 4 campfire chat. I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so before I get into the changes, I watched this part of the campfire chat probably over 10 times, and it's in reference to Joe Shilly, who came into the beginning of the campfire chat, and he spoke spoke about something and I watched it over like five times and I tried to figure out how to summarize it best for you guys. But then I was thinking, you know what? I'm racking my brains out here trying to figure out how to summarize this. Why don't we just hear it from the man himself? And then I'd like to hear what you think he was trying and what kind of message he was trying to get across from what he said, because I surely am still trying to figure out what he said. Here's what he said. Mr. Joe Shelley, want to kick it off? Thanks, Adam. Yeah, so I want to frame this update. This is a season four update. We're going to talk a lot about systems here, and I wanted to do a little bit of framing. Um, when we think about um, Diablo, right? Diablo is an ARPG. Everybody knows what an ARPG is, right? <clears throat> Um, it's an action role-playing game, um, but it's such a broad category, right? You have lots of games that are ARPGs, um, like a game like Hollow Knight, for example, um, is an ARPG, but it's also a Metroidvania, right? Or a game like Hades, which is an ARPG, but it's also a roguelike. Or something like Elden Ring, which is an ARPG, uh, but it's also a Souls-like, right? So when you think about what is Diablo, and what is Diablo 4? Um, you could call it a Diablo-like, sure. Um, but another way to describe it would be as a systems ARPG, right? An SARPG. Um, and so what distinguishes this kind of game from those other games that are in the same space that are all ARPGs, right? And it's really about when you're making decisions and what the most important decisions you're making are. The most important decisions in a game like this are the decisions you're making before combat, between combat. The decisions you make in combat are important too, but those are the ones that are the most important. Action combat, RPG elements, and systems are all foundational elements of any, of any ARPG. But in a systems ARPG, the, the systems in particular, including the end game, itemization, things like crafting, those are what comprise the soul of the game. And they're the lifeblood of a game like Diablo 4, and they don't just have to be deep, but also lush, prolific, uh, exciting. So as many of you know, we've been designing this update for a while. Um, we're putting it on PTR because it's important, and it's important to get it right, like Adam was saying. And everything you're about to, that you'll hear about today is from that S part of the SARPG, the soul of it. Joe, Adam, Adam, uh, and Charles are going to take you through the changes, all the changes, in detail. And there are a lot. So sit back, grab a drink, get your React faces ready, <laughs> uh, and let's do it. Did he say ass? Um, anyway, like I said, something about a system ARPG I don't know if he was trying to lay the foundation for what they were going to talk about. I don't know. Can you guys help me out? What did he mean by it? Um, but anyway, let me know in the comments. I, I, I probably have to watch it over another five or six times and maybe I'll understand what he was trying to say. But that was at the beginning of the campfire chat. And then let's talk about really the meat and bones of everything that was covered in the campfire chat today and that is the ptr which is only available on battle.net users pc only battle.net users only not on console sorry 
That is now officially coming April 2nd to the 9th. So all Diablo 4 players that play on Battle.net will be will get access to the public test realm April 2nd, and it'll be valid, and you'll be able to play on it until the 9th. Now, Season 3, because of it, is being extended until May 14th in order to incorporate feedback from the PTR. So because the PTR is ending on the 9th, they're extending Season 3 to May 14th, and we also learned Season 4 officially is coming May 14th. So PTR, April 2nd to the 9th, Season 3 extended to May 14th, Season 4 coming May 14th. Now, they went into a lot of things about itemization. I am not going to cover all of it, but I will cover some. The theme of the itemization is less is more quality over quantity. They wanted items to matter in the game. They didn't want players to have thousands and the screen littered with useless drops. So they really hammered home about quality over quantity. Um, so there's a lot of changes coming in reference to items and itemization. And I'm going to try to summarize them as best as I look over my notes. So forgive me for looking at my notes. Um, rares are only going to have two affixes now. So they're reducing the amount of affixes on uh, our items. And the point is that it's going to be more powerful and useful instead of having all these useless affixes. So that means rares are now only going to have two affixes. Legendaries are going to have three affixes. There is a new crafting mechanic called tempering which will allow you to add affixes to your gear and weapons. So a new crafting mechanic coming with called tampering, excuse me. There's another new mechanic called master, master working. It's a late game crafting mechanic and there's a ranking system to it. Rank one being the lowest, rank 12 being the highest. And the premise of this master working is that every four ranks, so when you hit rank four, when you hit rank eight, and when you hit rank 12, it crits an affix on your item. So again, it's about the items in the game, us holding on to them and it being a journey. They also made reference to this, your items is a journey. Um, so it's about your items getting stronger and more powerful and affixes critting every fourth rank when it comes to this master working uh, new new crafting item, new mechanic, sorry, that's a late game uh, crafting mechanic. And I'll explain further, it ties into something else, okay? Also, the Codex of Power now has every legendary affix in the game but when you salvage it, it will keep the highest when you salvaged and updated in the Codex of Power. So again, easier to max your Codex of Power the further in the game you get. And the beauty of it is when you salvage an item, the Codex of Power automatically gets put into the Codex of Power, the affix, right? Um, so that was a major, major, uh, huge improvement. Um, so again, itemization, and they talked a lot more about itemization, but the theme for season four, and by the way, all these changes that were talked about in the campfire chat today will not only be on the seasonal realms, it'll also be on the eternal realms. Um, the only bad news coming out of this, and someone correct me if I misheard, but all our items that we have today basically are not going to be able to be used in these new crafting mechanics. So basically, our items that we have prior to Season 4 are going to be useless because we cannot utilize these gear and weapons into, into these new crafting mechanics. 
Um, so that's the only negative thing. And please, if I misheard, correct me, guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. I definitely think it's a good move on their part to focus on quality over quantity. That is an A plus for sure. And the fact that they're reducing the amount of affixes and allowing you to craft affixes you want on our items, again, another good move. Um, so the itemizations that they talked about in the campfire chat, really good, really good. You know, like obviously, why wasn't this done in the beginning? Like these are kind of like the foundation of a good ARPG game i don't know according to joe shelley this is a systems arpg whatever that means um so i don't know if i'm going against what he classifies d4 as um but you know you do wonder why wasn't this put in the beginning but regardless great great changes to itemization it's definitely going to give players more of a feel of customization when it comes to their classes to their characters to their items um so that's that's great news uh for diablo 4 players now end game let's talk about everything that they discussed in end game now hell tides they're doing a bunch of changes to hell tides now typically hell tides were only world tier three and four they announced today that hell tides are now in all world tiers, which for people that utilize that as a leveling mechanism, and, and it is utilized for that, also for gear, I guess, um, that should be great news. But it is in the fact that of something else that I'll mention uh, very soon, Helltides are now in all world tiers. So we got a glimpse of what the new health tide looks like going to be higher density mobs. Um, there's going to be new events in within the health tide. There's going to be threat meters. There's going to there's going to be possibilities where we can summon event bosses, and there's going to be a, just in general a lot more stuff to do in the health tides. Okay, you're going to be able to summon a boss, an event boss. Like sounds like they're meeting up, uh, putting a lot of more meat in hell tides which for the hell tide lovers that is music to their ears there is a new mechanic being introduced sorry a new end game uh feature which is called the pit and immediately everybody made reference to the fact that it looks like greater rifts from d3 um it's a new end game system now it does not unlock until you beat a Nightmare Dungeon level 45. You need a Ruin Shard to enter, which are attained only by doing end game activity. And also the pit is where you will get your ranks for the master working pieces. Remember when I said this new mechanic master working rank one to rank 12 and every four it crits an affix on your item well in order to get that ranking from one to 12 and level it up you need to be in the pit from what i understand again if i miss if i misunderstood please guys correct me there's also going to be boss ladders and on <laughs> and Daryl is back okay there's a new boss and Daryl's back d2 boss god and daryl well i don't know if she's a god uh but we all know her from d2 and so and daryl is the new boss that's introduced and for the for the big boy players in diablo 4 apparently now you can fight uber versions of the bosses which have higher drop rates and items and uber uniques increase and all that kind of stuff so that is also uh, something for like the the heavy hitters that just are the meta of everything. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be all over that. And lastly, what I want to say is around leveling. Leveling 
is now going to be easier and quicker um, and faster, <laughs> obviously. All the world tiers, and I'm not going to recite exact percentages, but all the world tiers are going to get buffed for XP gains, majorly buffed, which makes your leveling quicker. Obviously, if your XP gains are higher compared to what it is today, obviously you're going to be leveling up the game quicker. So leveling to 100 is going to be faster and quicker. And they said they want everyone to be able to attain reaching level 100 because they want them to experience the end game um all this new end game stuff like there's some of the stuff that i mentioned is only available in the end game um so they want everyone to be able to have access to that and enjoy um everything that it has well there you have it that's my quick version of an overview i'm gonna put the full campfire chat video link on my video description, just in case you wanna watch the whole video. It's, uh, I believe it's about 90 minutes, um, but I did not cover everything. So if you wanna get all the details, click on the link and watch the whole video. I'm sure most of you have already watched it, um, but I wanted to give you my final thoughts on my impressions of the campfire chat today. Um, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, this is the first time that I've watched a campfire chat that I was actually intrigued and in listening for the most part of the video. Uh, past campfire chats, I've almost dozed it off for some of them. This is the first time that it actually was a little bit engaging in the sense of the amount of stuff that was being mentioned to us i personally think like motherhood statement this is going to make some players happy and it's not going to change the mind of other players um so i think there's still going to be a divide i think what they did today was a positive thing i question why it wasn't done from the start but just looking at and putting that aside, I wholeheartedly support the step they've made in itemization. I still think they're far from being a superior game when it comes to itemization. But is Diablo 4 better in Season 4 if these changes are going to be done than it is in Season 3? 200% yes these itemized itemization changes coming in season four are definitely going to make diablo 4 better um so and it's going to make again my opinion it's going to make players that are playing diablo 4 now and the casual player are going to love the changes that were introduced today and specifically the itemization uh, actually all of it um, I think they're going to like all of it. They're definitely going to like that the fact that they can reach level 100 quicker because as we know, they don't have as much time to play games as a hardcore player would. And what I mean hardcore, I mean like a giga chat, uh, a sweaty, you know, a, someone that sweat, that plays the game a lot, not hardcore mode. Someone that has a lot of time you know, that takes me to the other side of the fence. I still don't think that itemization is where it needs to be, but it definitely is a hell of an improvement and, a, and I'm glad they've taken this step. Uh, but for hardcore players, people that grind games, that enjoy customization and, and min and maxing characters and playing all the classes and all that kind of stuff, I still don't think there's enough, but this is a, a great step. And the end game, great. Again, they've added more stuff, but my personal initial take is this sounds great, but when players get in the game, I'm talking hardcore players now, okay? People that sweat games. Um, when they go and they try it, they're going to hit the wall again of, of boredom.
right? That That's my opinion. However, um, overall, I think for the majority of the player base, which I believe is more casual, I believe this is going to be very well received in that group of the player base and is going to make them happy uh, when season four drops. As far as the other side of the fence, I don't think it's going to be enticing enough to change the mind of people that are looking for more meat in the end game and more customization and itemization. I think it'll move the needle a little bit in this group, but not the majority for the first part. So overall, I think it was definitely the best campfire chat in the last 10 uh, by a country mile. I think season four has the potential to be better than the best season Diablo 4 has had, and that's season two. I think it has a lot more potential, and it has a lot more potential because they've finally listened and added things that a lot of you and the players playing Diablo 4 have been saying since day one. So I think they finally opened this up a little bit more, and it's obvious in the things that they talked about and are putting in season four. So from that perspective, it's a good step. Whether or not it's going to be able to change the majority of the players that have already said, nah, I'm not coming back. Um, only time will tell. But, the, you know, again, I have to stay true to myself and my content. This wasn't a grand slam. This wasn't a home run. But it definitely, I think this was like a double. If we're using a baseball reference, might even go as far as a triple. Okay, it was a double and they stole third. <laughs> definitely the best campfire chat in, in the ages by a mile. Content wise, all good. Um, I think it needs more, but all good. Anyway, let me know what you th what your thoughts are. What are your impressions of the campfire chat? What's your opinion on it? I would love to hear it and uh, let me know in the comment section. And as, as always, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.